Ecstasy Pill and Jedi, Eden on the Park Story, Part 2. Eden on the Park Story, Part 2. So what happened was, we woke up in the morning after all night sex, or half the night sex, we woke up in the morning, and we got up, and the manager didn't hassle us in the morning, and Jedi said to Ecstasy Pill, let's get your bag, your gym bag, your bag, your carry bag, your Ecstasy Pill, and stash it with two, stash two Eden on the Park night robes, gowns, night gowns, gowns, Eden on the Park gowns, and they're one for me and one for her, they were worth about $100 each, and we stashed heaps of alcohol from the bar fridge, little, little alcohol bottles of Jim Beam and vodka and, and Bundaberg and stuff in the bar fridge and stashed in a bag. Then I told Ecstasy Pill, you go out the front door, and I'll go out the back door, and Ecstasy Pill didn't know what was going on. Because Ecstasy Pill didn't know that I didn't pay. Ecstasy Pill thought I'd paid the 400, 280, but I hadn't paid, I'd only paid $90, and if they saw me walk out the front door, they were going to get me and say, oh, where's the money, huh? So I told Ecstasy Pill to walk out the front door and meet me around the side. I walked out the, I went down the stairs, and then the back door, went down the service stairs, and went down the back door, the, the secret back door that I'd found the last night, the night before, Went out the secret back door at the back of Eden in the park. Actually, people walked straight past the receptionist. They looked at her weed, and then she just walked straight past. They didn't hassle her, and she had her bag with the stash Eden on the park gowns and the stash alcohol. I met Actually, people around the side of the Eden on the park, and I asked Actually, people, did they did they see her? Did the receptionist say anything to her? She said no. Actually, people said no. They just looked at me a bit weird, and then Actually, people walked out, and then we met her on the I met her on the side of Eden on the park. We went and caught the train and the train back home, and when we got back home. My sister called up. Exy Pill's house, Julia, sister called up Exy Pill's house and said to Exy Pill, Eden on the park of rung and said that Nick owes him $300 or $350. And Exy Pill's like, that's not right. We stole two night, night yeah, we stole two nightgowns, Eden on the park nightgowns, and we stole some alcohol, but that should only be about 250 bucks worth. So what's the 350 bucks worth, huh? And, and oh, $200 worth of alcohol and, and nightgowns, huh? And Julia said, no, he owes 350 and Exy Pill didn't know why. But I knew why, because I only paid $90 of the $280 of the Valentine's Day special suite. And XC Pill and Julia and my family and no one ever knew. And the reason why I did the XC Pill was, the reason why I didn't get the money and pay, get money and pay for her, her hotel suite, have eaten on the Park Valentine's Day suite and made XC Pill pay, was because two months before that, she cheated on me in a gangbang with Big Dick Lee and the gangbang squad, John. Hayden, Neil, Robin's fiancé, my sister Robin's fiancé, Neil, and Erin, her best friend, one of her best friends, and she cheated on me with a gangbang squad and Big Dick Lee, the gangbang Big Dick Lee, and she cheated on me, so I, well, I, what I did was, I made Exy Pill pay $90 for the Valentine's Day Street, and I scanned in on the park, and I tricked Exy Pill, I got Exy Pill to pay for my sexual experience, not after cheat on me with Biddy Clinton and Gangbang Squad, I had to pay two hundred dollars for her sexual experience. I made her pay for my sexual experience. Ha ha. And that's just the tricks to the Jedi is. He treats ecstasy, he treats his parents, he treats sister Julia, he treats all of them. Jedi wins again.